Hey everyone, welcome back, and today we will be working on the forge. Now if you don't recall last episode, or if you just simply didn't watch it or weren't here, last episode we finished this little shack here which holds all the materials from our mining exploits in this under, well I mean not really but still doesn't hold all the materials, but does hold materials that are involved in mining. We have this cool little quarry, as well as a really bad looking crane. Then we have our woodcutter's hut, as well as our main actual house. So, a lot of progress has actually been made on this save. And it's actually kind of cool to see like the, the, this much progress being made on any, any survival save that I've had because usually uh, um, I don't get this far when it comes to building like I'll usually make it to you know a deep nether and then stop playing so I'm gonna have to turn that down a little bit uh, I'm gonna I don't know if that's affecting the uh, recording audio or not, but it is a lot louder um, than it was in Skyrim when I was recording earlier. So it is in need of fixing. Basically, I just had to turn my computer volume down a little bit, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So. Now we need to extend our pathway here using the resources that we have available to us. Very easy to do, very simple, very quick. Just drop down those. All right. So, um, you know, I think this episode might actually be one where I go and collect more coal because I am in real need of it. Because there is none whatsoever. Oh, yeah, we also have the farm. Which, um, is complete trash. So. Anyways. I don't know what I'm doing. I am a complete mess right now. And my stomach is currently screaming at me. For reasons unknown. I'm really just going to be throwing junk in this chest real fast for temporary purposes. I need a crafting table. There we go. All right, let's go on an adventure. This will be a short adventure, but it will be one of great magnitude. One which will surpass all of the others combined in a time span of only 10 minutes. Because I'm just that great. <sighs> one of these days I'll need to go over my uh, shader settings and show you all how to get my uh, shader results because I realize that the water color that I have is actually modified um, using all my fun shader settings so I 
Now, a little known fact is that swamps actually have a higher coal density than most biomes. So if we're going to be looking for coal, it's going to be looking in this area. Now, I don't see any right now, but that might be because we're still above ground. So it could just maybe be smart to dig down. Now we seem to have hit stone, which means that it's time to dig down. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to dig down. <sighs> My sarcasm is at an all-time high right now. Because I'm getting tired. And it seems we've managed to hit iron before we hit coal. Fantastic. As if we don't have enough iron as it is. But I am happy to see iron because, you know, hoppers and whatnot require a lot of iron. And eventually automation will come. But for now, we're just peacefully enjoying mining down. So, um, I just found out that observers were a thing earlier this week while working on my new project. And, like, I kind of knew that they were a thing, but, like, I haven't, like, fully, like, used, used them. And, um, let me just, like, say, they have a lot of potential use cases outside of their intended purpose. So... Um, I actually ended up using, um, an observer system for one of the project, for the project that I'll be, uh, hopefully beginning to record later this week. Um, I'm currently working on probably the most complicated portion of it, which I can't really talk about, but if you are new to the channel, I would highly recommend subscribing so you can see when that is officially released. It involves Minecraft. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to check my uh, coordinates. It involves Minecraft and the redstone system. And just to keep um, all your interests in check, for those of you who are both current and possibly even new subscribers it is a going to be a form of redstone tutorial slash walkthrough slash a bunch of other fun stuff but what it is going to be of is the surprise now this is not going to be no piston door this is going to be a mix of fun complicated and possibly boring but like a good boring like an asmr boring so it'll be interesting for those of you who actually enjoy um what will be uh, coming out so like it like it'll be interesting for those of you who are, enjoy this kind of stuff but boring and like you know sort of lengthy for those of you who just want to like watch boring things to put yourself to sleep and of course it will have my sweet voice serenading over the audio <laughs> as the video goes on so So there's coal down there, which is the whole purpose why we're down here, and yet I'm here mining the iron, because I have a... I'm not doing my torches how I normally do them. Or maybe I am subconsciously, I don't know. So we're going to try to run this pick into the ground real fast. Oh shoot, I don't have my bucket of water on me. That's not good. I 
There we go. That's a pretty good amount of coal. That's 19 pieces. I really wish I had a fortune pick. Because that would like really help out with uh, collecting coal. Huh. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> oh, come on. Let's go. All right, and then we're gonna... Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got some of those precious heckin' diamonds down there to collect. That's what I like to see. But that's not what I like to see. Is uh lava down there. So everyone knows just how friendly lava is. Especially when it comes to diamonds. Only two, huh? I'm not going to complain, though, because two is a diamond sword. So, which is very, very, very much needed. So I can kill creepers in three hits instead of four. Lapis is always good for XP purposes. This kind of guarantees that we will be able to have really good enchantments on our gear later on. You guys remember when it cost 30 XP to get one single enchantment on your diamond stuff? And then the enchanting overhaul came out and it was like actually usable. That was fun. Oh, and like in creative mode, like the only way to get XP was bottle enchanting. And that was even like a big deal when that was first added in 1.11 and 1.1.1. Ah. Uh, Jeez. <sighs> All you youngins that uh, have only recently started playing Minecraft have no idea the struggles we had in creative mode back in the day. See, I really like the environment sounds, but I'm not a fan of those sounds. Snooper settings. Hmm. No, mm, don't do that. Crap. If I uh, go into my little worlds here, it'll reveal what I've been working on, so I'm going to have to stop the recording and restart it. All right. We're, uh, we're back um, after I made that mistake. I uh, can't spoil the surprise early because um, I want to have like my first uh, ridiculous YouTube uh, preview premiere thing be that. So, it'll be uh, pretty pretty cool, I hope, when that's all released, that it'll uh, generate some some interest among this, in this channel. I mean, I don't know, I, mean, I just got, like, I got a lot of work I got to do, do before it's even, like, ready to record and start setting up. So, what's probably going to happen is, is I'm going to do... Uh, a tutorial, or I'm going to do like a, a ASMR kind of walkthrough of how it all works, and if that gets interest, then I will record a, whoa, then I'll record a uh, tutorial for 
Was it screaming? And I'll like record a tutorial series of how I built it. And I'll even go in depth onto why I used each of the components and their main form and function. My hope with this is that it will be both boring, but educational and fun to watch, which, um, I don't know, but for me, uh, usually watching stuff that's interesting before bed will actually end up like putting me to sleep. So it's, it's kind of funny because I have to use ASMR to nap now and I can't use ASMR for actual sleep because my, my brain will want to pay attention to the ASMR video, but it won't want to pay attention to the stuff that actually, um, you know, interests me. Like it's turned into like this weird reverse cycle where watching videos on the SCP universe will uh will put me to sleep while watching videos of ASMR will keep me awake. So it is uh, quite interesting. Got some emeralds there. All right, and um Oh, more. I missed some. Cool. Here's some gold up there. We're going to real fast collect. Um, let's start heading up here and see what kind of fun stuff we can do. Oh, wow. There's a lot more in this area than I first thought. There's a light source coming from down here, which means lava. Which that means both mobs and the possibility of finding diamond. Oh, apparently I've been here before. I don't know if those torches are old or new. So, I think we're going to lay off collecting every little piece of ore that we find real fast. Just because we're getting a ridiculous amount of resources collected here, and we already have a lot of coal, so I'm not sure if, and iron as well. Actually, we already have a stack of iron started. So it wouldn't hurt at all to keep collecting. So we're going to go and we're just going to... Collect some more stuff. Let's get some cobble. And kind of build, I guess, our little ladder going down here. Slash stairway. There's some water with lava. We can get our obsidian down here too. But first things first. Got to do some branch exploration and see what kind of fun stuff is hiding. All right. Like this. Oh boy. The good stuff is right here. Not that stupid blue stuff. Like real good stuff, the redstone. Yeah. Oh wow, is this an eight? Nope, it's only a seven. Or maybe a five. It is, or possibly only a six. It is a five. But that's still quite a bit. I mean, that's a pickaxe and a sword cool. Some more gold, iron, and redstone. 
Let's do some collection, shall we? And there's probably diamond below that lava there, but we're not even going to try. We're just going to collect our coal. I really need water, like, because doing work near lava without a water bucket is unacceptable. But that's what I got to do, I guess. A lot of gold. I don't even know if gold has in like a real good use yet. I know in mods it does, but you know, unmodded, so. All right, there we go. More redstone than I missed earlier. Let's go get some obsidian. All right, first things first, let's create a staging ground for our collections. <sighs> One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. We're going to need 14 in total. 10 for the portal, 10 for an enchanting table, or 4 for an enchanting table. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Beautiful. Ah. <sighs> Something's got my interest over there. So we're going to dig across. Ah, it's just random outpours. But there is a another pool over there that we're going to connect to. And 
maybe find more diamond. Emerald. I mean, emeralds are good. Not as good as diamond, but they're still good. Enderman. Not as good as diamond and not good. Ooh, emerald. Um, <sighs> hi, buddy. Why are they running around? It doesn't make any sense. You're a genius, ain't ya? Um. Let's uh, let's take a little trip upward, I guess. So I don't think we're able to find the original way out. Oh boy. Mistakes have been made. Now I got a spider to deal with. At least it's not a cave spider. Could always be worse. Thanks for helping, Mr. Bat. Always a pleasure doing business with you. Hmm. You know what? I think it's time to skedaddle out of here. Yep. It is time to do that. Indeed. Goodbye. Sounds like rain. Are we really already close to the surface? Oh, we are. Wow, it's actually really nice out here. That's really cool. I usually try to do try to avoid doing uh, nature screenshots because they don't usually get a lot of uh, attention when it comes to clicks, but that is worth it, I think. Like I, I've actually done mental experiments where I, I'll switch between doing nature screenshots and uh, building screenshots. And time and time again, the ones with building screenshots have a much higher click-through rate. So,
Huh. All right. Apparently I've been in this area before. Wait a minute. I know that tower. Yeah, I marked this area for exploration a while back because it seemed like there was a lot of stuff that could be explored. Huh. All right. 300, 150. Got it. That was pretty close there. I just saw a creeper try to explode on me. Ugh, don't do that to me, buddy. All right, we got a little bit of traveling to do, but we'll get there. Looks like the rain finally decided to let off, so. Minus the fact that, of course, there are some uh, hostile mobs afoot that would rather see me dead and in pieces than um, alive. So, let's get back to, uh, oh no. That's a cool one, too. All right. Uh, well, I do believe that according to the recording times, it is time to conclude today's video. I wanted to thank you all for watching and give a special thanks to my Tingles supporters and tippers. My current supporter is Els Pietz on Tingles. So thank you very much. And for the rest of you, 